Twitter is completely triggered right now when news came out that Gal Gadot is going to play Cleopatra in a new biopic movie about Cleopatra. So first of all, Gal Gadot is my girl. I can't let them do her that way. Now they're crying cultural appropriation when a Middle Eastern girl is going to play an Egyptian queen. An Egyptian, mind you, that is originally a Macedonian Greek queen. When people think of Egypt, they think because it's in uh, Northern Africa, or rather, uh, yeah, it's Northern Africa, it's right on the border near Asia, so it's Northern Africa, and people think uh, right away, oh, she's supposed to be black or tanned or whatever. As a guy who dates currently an Egyptian girlfriend, when I say Egyptian, I mean both her grandparents are purebred, born in, Egy uh, in Egypt. I can tell you that Egyptian women can be can look very very white. But that doesn't mean that Twitter won't cry cultural appropriation uh, because Gal Gadot was cast uh, for this role. Not only that, but you see uh, quite a lot of uh, terrorist sympathizers uh, coming out of the woodworks to condemn her uh, as a choice for the role because obviously she's Israeli and for a lot of people it's time to dog whistle and go up against Israel. So you see uh, this beautiful crowd coalesces around this same point of cultural appropriation, this beautiful crowd of anti-Semitic uh, Arab and some far-right groups together with the left who's pissed uh, genuinely for the same reason. One of them is because of cultural appropriation and the other is uh, because uh, the woman is from, again, a race they don't like. Both of them agree. Um, so it's basically horseshoe theory, where if you go far enough, enough uh, you meet each other on both ends. And I can't let them do that. I love Gal Gadot, big fan of hers. This is so stupid. This is the dumbest thing that ever happens. And uh, it's, not, it's not so hard to see why the uh, director who's uh, who's in charge for the movie uh, worked with Gal on Wonder Woman. It's not that hard to see why she would uh, choose her for her next film uh, because she's a great ex uh, actress. She did really well with Wonder Woman, in my opinion. Uh, Joker is leading right now in the DC Universe and then uh, Wonder Woman is right after it. Although, to be fair, the DC Universe is pretty pretty effed up right now when it comes to its franchises. The Suicide Squad is completely a uh, dead franchise. Um, I don't even know what other uh, IPs they have right now, but all of them suck except for Joker, which was phenomenal, even though I didn't personally uh, like it that much. I ob can objectively say that it's a, it's a great film deserving of an Oscar, especially uh, because of all the hoopla uh, behind it when it was a movie that was pushing a left-wing agenda anyway, but people somehow made it an insult film, which was ridiculous. And obviously, after The Joker, you have Wonder Woman, which is a pretty good film. It's not a 10 out of 10. I obviously enjoy, enjoyed it because, like I said, I'm a big fan of Gal Gadot. But um, I can recognize that some people may have not liked it that much. I'd say it's a solid 7.5 out of 10. Now, you would have thought that another film created by uh, a female director and, and a powerful actress like Gal Gadot, uh, who played Wonder Woman, you would think the left would stand behind it as a feminist movie about Cleopatra, mind you. Uh, but no, no, it's cultural appropriation. And it's nice to see the uh, anti-Israel crowd come, again come out of the woodwork to condemn this choice for the film. Uh, because uh, Gal Gadot is Israeli, obviously. She has no, I don't know her stance about the Israeli government, but that won't stop people from not liking her being on the big stage. Uh, I, don't want, I don't want to make this video about Israeli propaganda. I just wanted to point this obvious fact that uh, not only the left is attacking her, but the uh, anti-Israel crowd, which are on the right and on the left, are piggybacking on cultural, on the cultural appropriation talking point 
and you have some choice tweets right here from the trend because people are pissed about this choice uh, so let's see let's see I don't know I guess the same director who thought the Mediterranean Gal Gadot could pass as Greek enough to play Wonder Woman also thinks she could pass as Greek enough to play Cleopatra she is completely right I completely forgot that uh, Wonder Woman is some sort of a Greek goddess so it makes sense for those of you that don't know Cleopatra was actually a, a Macedonian Greek uh, I think that's how you say it in English uh, in my language you say it Macedonian uh, but anyway same point she, uh, Cleopatra is Greek as well as uh, Diana who's Wonder Woman which makes complete sense I wonder why didn't they cry cultural appropriation back then or maybe they did but it wasn't uh, quite as obvious as this one people are completely pissed look uh, which Hollywood dumbass thought it would be a good idea to cast an Israeli actress oh uh, emphasis on the Israeli as Cleopatra a very bland looking one instead of a stunning Arab actress like Nadine Najim and shame on you Gal Gadot your country steals uh, of course they make it about the Palestinian and Israeli conflict like I told you they're, they're completely appropriating this uh, cultural appropriation point to slam Israel. Gal Gadot is not the Israeli government. She's just an actress who happens to be Israeli. Okay? People are ass mad about her. Why should you, why should you take an Arab princess instead of the Israeli... Uh, sorry, an Arab actress instead of the Israeli actress? What is the difference? Both of them are Mediterranean. Both of them seems to be... Uh, uh, to be having this, the same complexion. Why? Why when Cleopatra was a Macedonian Greek? Why does it matter? Why can't actors, actors, as long as they're not doing blackface, as long as it's in good taste, play characters of the same race? Of the, Sorry, from, the dif from a different race, okay? If you make a good product, a good entertaining show or a movie, doesn't matter which actors portrays which character as long as the final product is great look at the boys the boys is gender bent and race bent many of the characters okay for those of you that don't know the boys is a phenomenal uh, great uh, show that by the way also pushes a lot of left-wing uh, not I don't want to say agenda but it's very left-leaning and it's bias it's still a great show um, and it did change a lot of the characters from the comic. There's a comic which the uh, show is based on. So uh, they, they, I think they gender bent. Uh, I don't want to spoil the, the story. I almost went into it. They gender bent a couple of the characters in the comics. Most of them are men. Okay. For those of you that know A Train, the black speedster, it's actually a white character in the uh, comics. And a lot of other characters as well. So yeah, doesn't mean, doesn't uh, it doesn't even matter. Okay, cultural appropriation is so stupid. Actors should be able to play any character they want. Okay, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna take the I'm I'm gonna show you the most charitable interpretation of that argument, which I I didn't see uh, being made in these tweets and uh, people talk who talk about this uh, subject they're saying that it's not about which actor uh, acts out the part but it's about the fact that there's no representation representation for those roles and um, if there's any way to put more representation of different races and danger and gender sorry it's in those movies so that's why people should play uh, the the roles for the same race anyway it's ridiculous even this point that the best uh the steel man of this point is still terrible and makes no no sense this is stupid cultural appropriation is stupid uh, as an actor as an actress you should be able to play any character okay don't do, just don't do blackface and you're cool okay that, that that's it okay Anyway, before I go off on another tangent, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, like the video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, maybe even share it. If you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon links in the description. 